pretty great story there. Rob, mm. puts a smile on your face, and I'm hoping the weather can do the same thing for us. I think so. I started with a picture from Chris Kindle Market. One, because it's just been slammed the entire day. People packed in, and it's going to be a better day tomorrow because it's going to be a little bit warmer, and it may be a better weekend this weekend than next weekend if you're planning to go, or maybe just for whatever you have planned that's outdoors. Here's the reason why. We're going to start out with temperatures that are right about where they should be for this time of year, but they are going to cool down to around 30 degrees or so, maybe some upper 20s. A little bit of a south or a southwest wind here is helping to keep the temperatures milder overnight than the clear skies would normally allow. Normally clear skies, you lose that blanket of clouds and the temperatures drop in a big way. That southwest wind is going to keep the temperatures near 30 for the overnight. And tomorrow the forecast looks pretty good. Look at your temperatures warming up. Some sunshine the early part of the day. You'll see that uh, temperature get into the upper 40s. Mostly cloudy skies by the second half of the day because we're kind of between two systems. I mentioned that one is moving out. We'll have another quick one that'll roll through here and by tomorrow kind of a break in system as well and in, in systems in the, as well. Take a look at future cast. Here's the first one that rolls on by. Then we start to clear out through about middle of the day. That'll allow some sunshine also helping to boost the temperatures just a little bit. And then the next system rolls on by from the west. This one will cloud us up by the second half of the day, but it may actually hold the temperatures a little bit milder overnight. So really it's just a cloud forecast coming and going through the course of not just Sunday, but also into your Monday as well. It's a very similar forecast for your Monday. We have to wait until Tuesday before things meteorologically get a little bit more interesting. And there's the next system that will arrive on Tuesday. This is the one that may impact your Thanksgiving travel. If you're traveling Tuesday, Wednesday could be a different scenario. Put that on hold. I'll get back to that in just a moment. I wanted to show you tomorrow's forecast with a high of 47, partly cloudy skies there, and pretty much the same thing for Monday, maybe even a couple of degrees warmer than that, approaching 50 degrees. Unfortunately, after that, the temperatures drop in a big way. So here's that system on Tuesday. If you have plans on traveling for traveling on Tuesday, if you can put them off to Wednesday, I think that's the better idea. Here's the reason why we do expect those showers to kind of overrun the area a good portion of the day Tuesday and then wrapping up overnight Tuesday night. Now there may be a little bit of this that will linger on Wednesday morning. Most of this is moving out of here. If you're traveling east or north, wait later in the day on Wednesday. This will move out pretty quickly, and then I think Wednesday is looking much better to travel. For your Thanksgiving, it looks like things will clear out. We're going to be between systems. So your Thanksgiving forecast is not so bad, but I mentioned that it's going to cool down. Take a look. The temperature's getting back to average, maybe even a little bit below the average for Thanksgiving. In fact, it is one of our cooler days at 42, but looking at the seven-day forecast, we expect 46, 43, and 42 as the numbers drop to try to rebound. But then there's going to be another system that will come in on Saturday. That's why I think this weekend is going to be a better idea to get out the next weekend. Mike? All right, Rob, thanks so much.